Now, if y'all watching this, that can only mean one thing. We are about to embark on one of my biggest trips of the year. Now, just like back at Shawshank, every series is a new adventure or a puzzle that we have to solve and solve quickly. And just like every fishing trip, this one will have its special okay. moments that we will look yeah. back on forever. Coolest catch of my life by far. All while capturing it through a lens of a camera. That's right, yep. I'm spending 12 days down in the shark fishing capital of the world during the infamous black tip migration with my good oh, yeah. friends, Tommy and Justin. We'll be targeting the most ferocious apex predators that lurk in the Atlantic Ocean. Mighty beasts like bull sharks, goliath groupers, black tip sharks, stingrays, and more. We did this all on our own right here, drone fishing sharks. Let's go! Okay. go! And so, we now welcome you back to West Palm Beach, Florida, season two. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the West Palm Beach season two series. We're down in Del Rey. Uh, we figured why not go for these peacocks again? They're such awesome, unique fish and we don't get to target them up there. So we wanted to do like one more like little half day for them. It's actually 1241. So uh, we had a morning, we checked out some of the boat ramps. We got three dozen shiners. Uh, me and Justin just rigged our rods. I'll go over what rod I'm using, the line I'm using. And I wanna say a big, I guess give a big shout out to Beyond Braid this trip. Beyond Braid has honestly held up so well. The entire trip, honestly, on all these big fish, on 150 pound nurse sharks, all the sharks that we've hooked on our black tip rods, all the other things that I've hooked on my salmon rod, as well as jacks. Uh, my bass rods are the peacock, all that is beyond braid. So I wanna give a huge thanks to them. And also a huge thanks to St. Croix Rods for supplying some rods for this trip and also follow the action for sponsoring this entire series. They're an outdoor apparel company that covers you from fishing to hunting. They got the most badass, hand-drawn, custom designs made for the everyday outdoorsman. So we're pulling up to the spot in about, what, five minutes, two minutes? So we'll be there in two minutes. We're gonna be fishing this um, place where I don't know if we're even allowed to be fishing, so hopefully we don't get kicked out. Peacock Bass, second time around in season two. Let's get it done, how you feeling? Feeling good, last time we were here, it was good, but not as good as it could be, so hopefully, uh Today they're going crazy and we can catch a crap ton of them. You excited? Yes. Some good old medium roaches. Hooray! All right guys, at the spot, using 15 pound Beyond Braid in the white. My rod today is a St. Croix seven foot medium fast action with a Daiwa Alexa 2500. There we go, finally. Feels pretty decent, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's not that color that I want to. That's, that's literally the ideal. All right, guys, my first peacock of the day. Absolutely beautiful. Every single time we catch these things, I'm just so amazed by the colors every single time. I mean, just like the orange on the fins, this spot, the hump on its head, this is how you can tell it's a male. Bring a nice release on this guy. Let's get him back in. Beautiful pee, though. All we're using is a little one out hook, this little offset hook. I'm gonna hook this right in front of the dorsal a big trick is too because we're not using sinkers these shiners like to swim up at the surface so to, in order to actually get some bites you got to get your shiner down it could be a pain in the ass but you will be able to get it eventually no that was something oh oh 
shit. That was sweet. That was sweet. No, oh, get out of that snag. I need this on the camera. Seven foot St. Croix rod beyond braid, guys. This braid is literally also all over those stumps, all over those metal pipes. It's all rusted out and it's not breaking. I actually have a knot in my braid right now, somewhere a couple, couple feet up or something. It was too easy to take it out. Oh, it's a smaller one, but it's nice and beautiful. Yeah, no, male. All right, guys, my second peacock. Beautiful coloring. So vibrant. But this is a little bit smaller one. Also a male. Got the hump right here. Bring a nice release on this guy. Go for another one. Tommy. Just a cichlid. Cichlid. <coughs> All right, guys. First fish for me. Really beautiful cichlid. Beautiful colors. Nice one. one. Yeah. Nice male, big, big head. I think I got it. Wow, dude, this head, this head's huge. Holy shit, dude. Look at the head on that one. Beautiful male there, big head. I gotta give this thing like 10 years to eat. So I'll see you, I'll see you in 15. Hey, look at him go. All right guys, we got a Florida gar on. And what I gotta do is let him eat. He is hauling. Holy crap. <laughs> look at the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's hauling. He might have it actually. Should I try it? Fish on. No, it's a gar. Yeah. Hey right, guys, we got a gar on. Yeah, nice gar. Hey, so Justin put on this little balloon rig and the clip actually made for sharks. Blew up the balloon a little bit to make a small bobber. Going for gar, and he got one. This Florida gar. Put on a little cup bait with a balloon. Had to make something because we don't have any floats. There we go. Nice gar. Here you go, bud. Nice. Two for two on peacocks right now. Justin is two for two with a gar and a peacock. So far so good, but definitely a slower bite. Honestly, coming out here usually, we're gonna go to a canal right after this, but you can usually smoke a lot more than this, which I'm very surprised it's like this. Oh, what the hell? It, it's a peacock. Oh no, it's a tilapia. It's a tilapia. 
No way. I did not know there was tilapia in here. No way. These things only eat like bread. This is fishing for garn. I got my first tilapia. A little weird because it was eating a uh, cup bait, and I think they only eat like bread and stuff like that, from what I've seen. But pretty cool. It's my first one. Pretty happy with that. There you go. That's nice. All right guys, we're at the canal spot now. Justin saw a bunch of peacocks. Somebody's gonna flip right in front of, there's like pipes going under the road. Cichlid. That's a peacock, I think. Yeah, there's peacocks all over. They literally They're everywhere, they're everywhere. No! I just lost one. Luckily, I saw it, so it wasn't that big. But there's peacocks. Did you see what happened too? That peacock took it away from that cichlid. Yeah. Large mouth, large mouth. Nice one too. Peacocks everywhere. Peacocks everywhere. Oh, the peacock. Dude, the peacocks went after the large mouth. Dude. I see him. Wow, look at that one. Hey, girl. Look at that, guys. My first largemouth, uh, oh no, it's not. We ice fish. My first open water largemouth of 2022. Pretty nice one, too. I'm making a picture of this one. And nice little female cock. Double up, double up, double up. Oh, it's a small, dude, that looks like a perch. Look at that, that literally looks like a perch. Holy shit. Dude, look at the orange. I got a perch, just kidding, it's a peacock, but it looks like a perch, that's gonna go right back in. And look at that one, beautiful peacock. Look at the orange. This is awesome fishing, guys. We're literally right next to a main highway right here. Just toss it in. And it's literally almost instant right now. Largemouth right here, cichlids, peacocks. Guys, when you're doing this with peacocks, as a bass angler like myself, you're really used to setting the hook, but with these, you really don't have to. Like, see, like I'm honestly just really in it like that. Nice slow pull and another largemouth. What the hell? I'll take it though. If you guys need a quality peacock rod, highly recommend the St. Croix Avid, seven foot medium. Um, a lighter tip. Why I'm using a medium absorbs more head shakes, which means you'll lose less fish. Oh my god. So yeah. I'm gonna go try and catch this large mouth. Never mind, I'm on. Peace. No, it's not funny. I'm gonna pee. It's gotta be a large mouth. Yeah. That did not feel like no peacock. There goes another one. What is it? This one feels like a peacock. I'd say this is a peacock. Going for his side. Well, we have another peacock. And yeah, let's see if we can get him up. Perfectly hooked, right at the top of the mouth. Come on. Oh. Oh God. Guys, I set my rod down, had to change the battery in the GoPro, picked it up and I saw the line ripping out of it. Oh, this is a pretty one. Pretty. Another little peacock, not really picture worthy, but still a fun fight. And these things definitely fight very, very hard.
that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you guys are not. Um, remember, I don't wanna give you guys my official outro because this is a series and I'll see you guys in the morning. But I had fun today. We caught a bunch of peacocks. I honestly lost count. I did have a count when we first started, but then once we hit that canal, it was literally left and right. So I had fun today. I think Justin did as well. Remember to check out Beyond Braid, Synchro Rods, and Follow the Action Outdoors. Um, they'll all be linked in the description below. But let's get the final word from Justine. Pretty fun day, lots of peacocks. Uh, I got a gar, had a few other gar on, and uh, yeah, all in all, we ended up hammering them. So we will see you guys later for some drum fishing sharks. Peace out. Early mornings, late night cruising, up and down the crystal cove and through the uneasy stream. Bass fishing, corona drinking, we're just out here catching the American dream. Lay back, relax, McGrath fishing is all you need.